Hi everyone, this is Gauravi and I work with the partner ecosystem team at Red Hat. I'm so excited and glad to be a part of DevCon and connect with you all today. As I mentioned, I work for partner ecosystem where we care a lot about our partners because they're important for our services. It's equally important for us to reach out to new partners while we nurture the existing ones and to fill the gap between us and the partners we need efficient marketing efforts. It's so crucial to be able to cater the needs of these business partners and customers by understanding what exactly they want so that the customized experience can be provided to them by having the right marketing efforts placed in the right place at the right time. As we all know today, most of the marketing efforts are uh, to reach and pull the customers through some kind of web platforms such as websites, blogs, social media, emails or online campaigns. It's important to know how these marketing efforts are channelized and how partners are responding to these efforts. With the right channel and marketing analytics, there lies an opportunity to deliver a great experience by connecting with partners or customers in a better way. One of the very such opportunities is to have an ability to see the data in real time to understand the customers on a whole new level by integrating web data. As web analytics is at the heart of enterprise decision making, Let's have a look at how Adobe Analytics works for applying real-time analytics and detail segmentation across all of your marketing channels. Hopefully, you would be able to take home the basic understanding of Adobe Analytics, uh, its features and capabilities after this talk. Also, as you would all know how to use the product, you would be able to start exploring further on your own. So to begin with, the very first question might pop up as, what is web data or why web data? for especially those who do not work with the data directly. So web data is any data collected from web platforms or media, such as uh, how many people are visiting your websites, uh, what content they're looking at, or from where they're visiting, and so on. Now, why web data? Uh, let's say you have a shop or a store, and uh, you would be able to know how many customers you have each day. What are the most selling items? Uh, if there is any specific time of the day or week, you expect more crowd at your store. But what if you have a website which has a bunch of web pages, then how do you know how many people are visiting your website? What content pulls more visitors? And if most of the visitors are from any specific part of the world and so on. To answer all these questions, we need web analytics. And shortly we will see how Adobe Analytics helps with this challenge. But before we begin with the demo, I would let you enjoy a short video which shows how the web analytics is at the heart of uh, the business decision and it's one of the crucial factors in making business decisions. So in a quick moment, let me share my screen. And there you go. Here, come take a look at this. Number, they keep getting bigger and bigger. The clicks are off the charts. Yeah. Well, back. He really loves that thing. I hope you enjoyed that. And now let's see how Adobe Analytics actually works. So this is a new project which we are going to start with. And on the left side, we can see three important options. Number one, panels. Number two, visualizations. And number three, components. So the panels are a collection of visualizations from any visualization from this list under the visualization tab. And then comes the components, which further divided into uh, different parts, such as dimensions, which is a variable, uh, which are the list of variables in the form of string. Then comes metrics, uh, which could be a quantitative information about the dimensions and then the segments, which could be treated as a filter. And then comes the date range, 
which is simply a collection of different uh, date range previously defined. This is a panel which you could see and we can create a new panel from here. When we create a new panel, we already have a few uh, uh, visualizations to select from. But if we want some, some more, then we can go to the visualizations and then just add the visualizations from here. Right now, we already have one panel with us and we already have selected the freeform table. So let's begin with that. Before that, let's name our project and name the report also. So from components, we are going to drag dimensions, metrics, and segments, also the date ranges. So let's say we want to see uh, how many pages across all the Red Hats are available and the visits and visitors for those pages. So we'll simply start by dragging the dimension page name into the left side uh, of the panel or the report. Remember that the dimensions would always go on to the left side and the metrics would go to the right side. We already have occurrence as a default metrics over there, which we are going to replace with the visits because we want to see the visits. And we also want to see the unique visitors. So we are going to add the unique visitors also. So basically visits uh, are the visit is a sequence of page views in one sitting or one session, while unique visitors are the unique number of visitors we have for that site. So we could see that there are a number of pages we have and uh, how many visits and unique visitors we have for the given page. From here, we can select how many rows we want to see from the available ones. So let's choose five. And then we can also sort ascending or descending based on the requirement. We could also see the trend of the data. And it seems that this data is for August 1st to August 30. We can change the date range from here or we can simply use one of the predefined date ranges from here. Like let's say last 30 days. And then the data would, the date range would apply to this table and the numbers would change accordingly. Yeah, like that. Also, uh, we could add uh, different segments over here. For example, right now uh, I have no filters or no segments. So I have all the pages here across Red Hat. And let's say if I want to see only the pages which are connected to, related to uh, Partner Connect, then we are going to use one of the predefined filter or segment. We are just going to drop it here. And please notice that the pages and the number would change accordingly. Here we can see all the pages which start with RH or RHC. And once we have the segment added, the numbers would change because the pages would also change. Yeah, there we go. Now we have all the pages only connected to Red Hat Partner Connect, and we we have the numbers accordingly. We can also add a text card over here. Sometimes it, it's very important if you want to set some information for your audience or to the team you are representing the dashboard to. This note section can be used to fill in any information which you think would be helpful to know. I have some information already. So I would just paste it over here. So basically this acts as a mini uh, text reader in your program or in your report. Yeah, there we go. We can also add the summary number. So from visualizations, I'm going to drag this and I want to let's say have unique visitors. So this is unique visitor. I'm going to lock my selection because I don't want to change it whenever I hover over and I'll just rename it as unique visitors for last 30 days. We already have a freeform table and let's say we want to create a visualization based on that. So I'll select the data, right click, go to the visualization and I'm actually interested in seeing the trend. So I would go for the line chart Now it shows uh, the trend uh, for these pages for visits and unique visitors for last 30 days. It seems that on August 
7 we have less visits then august 14 we have less visits august 21 we have less visits and so on so it seems that during weekends we generally have less visits and visitors and it makes sense also because people do not work during weekends in most of the countries so that's how we can see the trends and anomalies if there are any right now we do not have any anomalies detected also as you change or as you select uh, change your selection on the freeform table the graph would change accordingly but if you don't want it to change you can just go here this little button and you can lock your selection and then the data won't change you can also hide the freeform table if you want but for now let's keep it and now if you no matter what uh, uh, what parameter you select the graph won't change the graph number and all the details should definitely change if you make any changes to the segment and filter over here let's say from last 30 days we go for last month the numbers table and the visualization is going to update accordingly yeah there we go now let's say uh, if you want to see how many what are the countries and how many visits were coming from uh, each of those countries you're just going to replace the page name with the country. Yeah, and now we can see different countries. We have total 158 countries, but we selected to see only five rows. That's why we could see five countries over here. So we could see that uh, these top five countries and their visits and unique visitors. And uh, we can also break it down further if you want to see how many. Uh, pages or what are the actual page, pages are being viewed in each of those countries we are just going to select them right click and break it down by the page name there we go now we can see that within united states we have 475 pages currently we have listed only five pages and see which are the top five pages based on the visits we have or based on the unique visitors we may have. So accordingly, we can make. I already have a full uh, report created over here. Since because of time constraint, I cannot show everything. But this is the report we can uh, create. I have added one another segment over here, a couple of more text card and summary card. Here I have listed the web pages and their web URLs. I have just break it down the same way we did it for the country. We can also create different charts based on uh, the requirements or based on, based on how we like it to have. So here is uh, the countries. Uh, here is the countries table. The same thing which we performed. We could also see the different campaigns and what are the pages uh, visited most through each of the campaigns. We could also see the popular pages and the time spent on those pages by the visitors. We can also look at the download activities uh, for each of the page. And uh, accordingly, we can also see the different platforms from where users are navigating to Red Hat pages, such as if they are using any kind of search engines or if they're using any external websites or social media uh, platforms. We can also further break it down, like which social media platforms people are using or which of the uh, external websites people are using or what, what are the search engines people are using. Apart from that, we can also develop a uh, traffic flow diagram to see uh, how users are actually navigating from different pages. So from these uh, entry pages, people are visiting these pages and from these pages, then they are going to different pages. So we could actually track their navigation activity till some extent. We could also see how many people are exiting after visiting the first page or after visiting the second page. So this is just a glimpse. We could do much more with that. But I hope you enjoy uh, the this talk and the, the session was insightful for you. So with this, I would open it up for any questions you may have for me. And thank you.